So the week after, um, I think it was the week after the last episode of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier aired, uh, we actually got the, the trailer for Shang-Chi, finally. And um, <clears throat> since this is going to be a Shang-Chi's introduction into the MCU, uh, you know, Shang-Chi is a character that I'm, I know absolutely nothing about. Like, like, this movie is basically going to be my introduction to the character. Since, you know, I, I never even heard of them before uh, until his movie was announced. So, um, because this is going to be his introduction to the MCU, I've only done a minimal amount of research on the character. And uh, I'm basically only going to be uh, talking about his origin story uh, for the sake of talking about what, he, what we could possibly expect um, from this movie. Um, and, uh, man, <laughs> I thought that... Uh, his origin story would be a lot more straightforward to go through than, you know, the things that I had to learn about in order to properly talk about it. Okay, so, Fo Manchu is a villain who was introduced in a series of novels by author Sax Romer during the early 20th century. The character Fo Manchu in Marvel Comics is based off of this character. <laughs> so, Shang-Chi is the son of Fo Manchu, although... Later on, they would downplay uh, this fact uh, because since Fu Manchu is based on a character that was not created by Marvel Comics, um, eventually they lost the rights to, to use him. So, yeah, they, they basically had to severely downplay the fact that Shang-Chi was Fu Manchu's father. So, yeah, I, I had to learn about an entire, something entirely different and separate from Marvel Comics uh, before I could even begin to understand, you know, who, who Shang-Chi was. But but anyway, <laughs> that aside, um, so Shang-Chi is, is the son of, of Fo Manchu. He was um, raised to be, you know, a Kung Fu assassin by his father. Um, he thought his father was a beloved humanitarian or whatnot. And uh, one day, uh, he, Shang-Chi's father sends him on a mission to, to, to murder a doctor named uh, James Petrie. Uh, I, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, and, uh, you know, his, his father basically told him that, you know, this guy is an enemy and a threat to, to, to peace and whatnot. So after he assassinates uh, Dr. Petrie, uh, he actually comes across Fu Manchu's arch enemy, uh, Sir Dennis Nathan Smith, who, you know, basically tells Shang-Chi, you know, hey, you got it all wrong. It's actually your father who's the bad guy here. And uh, so, you know, Shang-Chi, of course, refuses to believe this at first. And um, when he confronts his father uh, about his father's true nature, you know, his father, of course, reveals his true nature to his son. And they... End up, end up having a fight, you know, Shang-Chi has to fight, you know, Fo Manchu's assassins and whatnot, and, um, you know, now that Shang-Chi knows his father's true nature, he basically vows to put a stop to, um, his father's evil ways, and, um, excuse me, you know, he, he also ends up needing to, to, to fight against, you know, um, and then my sixth agent named Blackjack Tar, who, you know, he, he, he's there to apprehend Shang-Chi, you know, believing him to be working for his father. But at this point, you know, uh, Shang-Chi already knows what his father is up to. So, you know, after, you know, they eventually come to a common understanding about what Fu Manchu is actually doing, they Shang-Chi eventually, you know, becomes an ally of, of MI6 and, and whatnot. So, um, basically what I'm expecting uh, from this movie is... Uh, obviously, the particulars and, and details and whatnot of, of the movie are going to be different from the comics and whatnot, but I expect the, the same basic plot uh, to be followed uh, in the Shang-Chi movie. Um, now, obviously, um, like I said before, they, Marvel lost the rights to, to use Fo Manchu's character a long time ago since he's based off of a character not created by Marvel Comics. Uh, so apparently w what they're doing for the movie is the, the Mandarin, the real one, not the fake Mandarin from Iron Man 3. Um, he is actually Shang-Chi's father in the MCU. So, you know, obviously what that means is he's going to be a, 
he's going to be playing a Fo Manchu's role uh, in the MCU, but he, he will still be, I guess, more or less the, the same character as the Mandarin is in the comics. Um, you know, uh, the Mandarin in, in the comics, you know, has the Ten Rings of Power, and that's where he gets his powers from. Um, I'm sure we'll, 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 we'll see them in the MCU as well, even if it's, you know, in a different form. Um, but the fact that, that he's uh, Shang-Chi's father um, certainly changes the, the character dynamic a bit. Um, but like I said, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's just going to be playing the same role that, that Fu Manchu did in, in the comics. Um, I'm not sure what kind of connection, if any, to Iron Man um, the Mandarin will have uh, in the MCU, given you know the difference in relationship and whatnot. Uh, it's possible that we will see uh, at least a cameo from Trevor uh, uh, from Iron Man 3 uh, in this movie. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised at all if, like, the opening scene of the film is, you know, like, Trevor set to be executed by the Mandarin or, or, or whatever, you know, in order to, you know, demonstrate what kind of character the Mandarin is in this movie. Um, it might not be likely, Um like I said, if he if he does appear in the movie in any capacity, it's going to be a cameo, uh, and likely it is going to be his execution that that we're going to be seeing in the film. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I, I kind of expect um, Shang Chi's origin in the MCU to more or less follow along the same lines of um, you know his origin in, in the comics. Obviously, it's not going to be exact. Like when when Captain Marvel was introduced into the MCU, you know. There were elements of her origin story in um, her, her debut film, but, but otherwise her, her origin in the MCU is completely different uh, from that of the comics. You know, so that, that's basically the, the, the same way that I think Shang-Chi's introduction is going to be handled in the MCU. It will most likely contain elements of his comic origins, but otherwise be its own separate thing and, and completely different from the MCU. So yeah, that, that's that's... A very small and slim, basic uh, explanation for, for Shang-Chi's character and whatnot. Um, he has been a member of multiple teams uh, throughout his history, like like Heroes for Hire and Marvel Knights and stuff like that. And, and he was even a member of the Avengers at one point. So I imagine, you know, they're introducing him, you know, because they're forming a new Avengers team, you know, in the MCU going forward. And he's going to be... Uh, one of the new Avengers members. So, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that, that that's that's what's going to happen. You know, because they're they're also um, it might not seem like it right now, but they're also working on introducing the young introducing the young Avengers into the MCU a, a, as well. Uh, and I might talk about that uh, another time. But uh, yeah, that that's basically uh, what we could possibly expect uh, from the Shang Chi movie.